Now we want to divide our document up into three columns, like a newspaper. To do that, we'll go up to Format, Page, selecting the Columns tab. Now we can see that we have one column selected. I want to make it three columns like a newspaper. I could pick two columns. I can make even more than three columns. I can make four or five, but we're going to start with three. And we'll see that this auto width here is checked. This makes all our columns the same width. If I want two columns bigger or smaller or each column its individual width, I would uncheck this. And from these boxes above, I can change the width of a particular column. If I have more than three columns, let's say we have four, I'll need to click this right arrow to get to that fourth column to adjust the width of that column. If I have the auto width checked, these arrows really don't need to take us anywhere because the width is grayed out. Let's check the three columns and see how that looks. I'm applying it, clicking OK, and looking at our document, the text looks pretty close together. I'm going to change that by going back into Page, Columns, and we want to adjust the spacing in between the columns. We'll make that 20. Keeping with the auto width, that looks a little better. We can't get a true idea of what it looks like with those boxes, so let's turn those off. Turning off the text boundaries, we've got a better idea of what our document would look like as a printout. Let's go back in and add a separator line. Back into Format, Page, and down at the bottom we have the separator line. Let's add a straight line. We'll make the color turquoise and we'll make the width 0.5. The height's at 100%. Let's bring it down a little bit so we can choose a position. We'll change this to 75. Now we can choose a position of top, centered, or bottom. I'll go with centered. Clicking OK, we can see our separator lines going 75% of the height of our columns. I've decided that I don't like those separator lines. Let's go back and take them out. Format, Page, Separator Style, we change this back to None. Looking back at this document, I think I want this column to end after specific and this looking further into things should be on the next column. So I'm placing my cursor before the L and I'm inserting a manual break and instead of a page break I want a column break. And now we have looking further into things at the top of the next column. In our middle column we just have space here at the bottom of that column. You might have noticed when we put in our three columns, format, page, columns, three columns, apply, we notice that our header is kind of jumbled up in this first column, and that's not what we want at all. We want our header to span all three columns and then the columns below, like a real newspaper would do. For that, we need to add a section. We'll do that right now. Let's undo our three columns with the Edit, Undo. Now from here, I want to put my cursor where I want to start my columns. I'm going to hold down Control, Shift, and End. This is selecting all the text from where I started it to the end of the document. Now I'm going to click on Insert, Section, and I'll name this section Three Columns. Going into my Column tab and clicking on the Three Columns. Remember we had to add a little spacing to make it look good. I think 20 was good. Clicking Insert. 
now we have our header spanning across the top and our three columns. And to see how that would print out, we'll hit our page preview and it looks just how we wanted. Mm -hmm.